Right, so this is uh, the Russian cosmonaut that I work with. Um, just warming his hands up on the rocket stove. Uh, put this barrel on it. Did start to let the, the fire smoke pretty bad um, because it was too close to the chimney. So I raised it up on all their bricks um, and that seemed to help. So I think this is a fine art of messing about. But as you remember from earlier on, the top of this this was wet and I've only had it on for a couple of minutes. And already you can see that dry spot about the size of my hand. Um, but the side of it is warm up nicely. Um, you feel a bit of heat coming out that hole we cut. I used to use this as a burner. Put that back in. Stop a bit of heat escaping. That one there. And then come around here and this one here. So I'll just fill that up. Um, yeah. Oh, see. It's a wee draw. Got that back in shape. Doesn't really like this barrel being on, but then if you're going to build the mass heaters, which is hopefully what I intend on doing, uh, this will all be sealed and then an exhaust system put on to give it even better draw. So this isn't really really what you want to set ideal conditions obviously. But you can see that Shouldn't be smoking as much as that, obviously. But if <clears throat> gets the right draw, as you can see, it's going pretty well. Right. If I show you this vent that I made earlier, well, we can just about squeeze it out. A little bit of air in there. Here, the fire starting to pick up. But what I found was, as you can see, probably, is that the flames then start to gather up the way. Which is obviously defeating the purpose of having the rocket stove. So if we take it out, the flames gather up. As you can see, and then we close it over. And the flames instantly go back down. And you get that nice draw sound. Well, it's proven real. It does seem to smoke quite a bit with this barrel on it. Definitely doesn't like the barrel. Uh, but it is in essence working. Um, I'll just pause this a second and then I'll take the barrel off and let you see it with the barrel off. Okay, so that's the barrel back off it again. It's just sitting there. Um, you can see the instant change, very little smoke. Basically, no smoke at all, which is what I want. As soon as my other half's a bit of a frigate, better washing, getting smoked out. Um, down in there, you can see now that you've got a good, nice, nice, good draw burn. And uh, smoke's sort of gone there. So, I'm well placed with the Mark II for second attempt. I don't think it's too bad. The um, it's been running for a while now. This is getting to a point where you can, where you don't really want to be to holding it. It's getting really hot, um, and obviously the heat radiating off that is oh, pretty unbearable after a while. So, I'm sure, if you put. Uh, Barbecue head over it or something. Get a nice bit of heat going, maybe. Cook something up. It's 
suppose that's what people use it for sometimes. But uh, definitely well chuffed with this. Um, for only missed about really. And uh, in essence, with all these yard gaps in the bricks, now I try to keep them as tight as I can, but um, realistically, this shouldn't really be working as well as it is. So it's just a testament to the type of fire that the rocket stove is. It does do pretty much what it says in the tin. You can see is that I found that if the fire started dies down, I've let it go for a bit there without putting any wood in it. Um, if you lose the heat off it, it definitely smokes a hell of a lot more. Um, obviously the heat goes up into the combustion chamber into the exhaust and um, ultimately takes reburns all that soot particles um, that you want rid of. Um, if that fire starts to die down in any way you do see a lot more smoke coming from it. Uh, so you do need to keep it stoked up. Um, so you, I would advise if you are building one you're gonna have to get all your wood sort of that size ready because Half inch, no inch, inch and inch and a half, and uh, you really, to be honest with you, would want to split that. So I've been trying to do that. I had some fence boards there; they worked. They split pretty well. They see these ones here, um, but this this stuff here seems to go in all right. But do you have to? I find if you put the heavier stuff at the front towards the exhaust and let the light timber burn towards the back. That seems to be the way I found of making it burn best, as they say. So try and keep that all up in there and then let this later sort of better burning stuff at the back. This would probably be a bit better. Um, but it's treated so uh, maybe some nice kindling from the garage it might help. But uh, well chuffed, well chuffed. As I say, you can see there, now I've got that going again, a bit more wood on it. The smoke definitely does disappear off, but I'll have to get uh, the laser thermometer out in a wee while and uh, see what sort of temperatures this is working up at. I just as I go down this, oh, yeah, yeah, oh. Obviously, as you go down that tube, it definitely gets oh, a lot hotter. Cools off here, but I think if we get a, if we can find a way of collecting that heat in the barrel, it uh, it'll definitely go a long way to building my outdoor outdoor rocket mass heater. So this is an ongoing project for the summer. And as you can see, it's. Normal Northern Irish weather. Actually, this is pretty dry, um, so it's not exactly a thing. This is middle of February, so it's just a pretty good day. Um, so I'm hoping to build this sort of July, for July and August. Hopefully, get a few good days and barbecue out the back. Keep the boys happy with a few beers. So hope this has helped. Leave your comments below. Bye.